Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. It's Monday, November 23rd. This is the Daily NBA show that me and Mike Brenner do every day. Mike Brenner, thanks for being back with us once again, starting off a new week in the NBA. The first thing I want to bring up, you know, in our, uh, I think it was our last show, you gave us a heads up. You were like LeBron James gave the team a talking to. Yes. My ears perked up. What happened? Two straight covers for the Cavs after a long run of ACS losses. You know, we talk about this in this show. I'm like, one handicapping factor I look for is if a team fucking yells at, mm -hmm. at, at itself. Yeah. If a team yells at itself and they start yelling at having players only meetings, stuff like that. That's something I look for. It happened with Cleveland tonight. They are at home, an eight and a half or nine point favorite against Orlando, and the Magic have lost five out of their last six ATS. Yes. Question is, does it happen again for Cleveland? Don't know, and I like that also, and you know, again, we do, we make these statements when we're talking and so forth and off camera, and it does go a long way, and I did jump aboard on that one, uh, the one cover the last game, but mm -hmm. I like Cleveland tonight. Um, you know, really? Scott Skiles, yes I do. Skiles is trying to scale down the height of this lineup. He's trying to go smaller, yes. he's trying to transition and get yes. the running game going. I'm a big Skiles fan, so I'm not gonna doubt him, but will the talent they have affect uh, the fact that the Cavaliers are shorthanded? I don't believe so, because Moskov's out, you know, Irving, of course, is out. Even Mo Williams, who's backing up Irving, yes, is out. they're having injuries now. Yep, exactly. But Ver uh, Varejo, Variejo, whatever, he's back. <laughs> he's healthy this year. And Tristan Thompson, they're pitching in. But here's the, the here's what's happening right now. Kevin Love and LeBron, they're learning how to play together. And a lot of people thought it wouldn't happen. They are. They'll be the first. I read another article. Yeah. Absolutely. LeBron said, I'm very pleased with the, w the way oh. he, the, the two of them have gelled. And look what happened. They're producing. They're producing. I caught the first half tonight minus five. Mm. And I love the Cavaliers tonight at home, couple days off, boom, they're going to run and gun. Okay, that's one of the picks you wanted to give Absolutely. us? Absolutely, that's All one right. of my picks. Now let's go on to some other things I wanted to bring up. The Knicks, seven straight covers, right? That. Seven straight covers are playing Miami, who is uh, on a four-game ATS, lo ATS losing streak. Mm -hmm. The Knicks are getting, what is it right now? It's five. five the Knicks okay. are getting five. You know, they are on their third straight road game after two road wins, straight-up wins. So it might be a little bit tough. Miami does have the kind of defense that can clamp down. The question is, do you trust Carmelo Anthony and the guy from, the, from Czechoslovakia? Yeah, poor Zingas. I trust that guy. I like that guy. When I looked at this and I saw the total, I was wondering if you were going to jump on the under- I don't know why that came up, you know, into yeah. my mind, but it did. Um, I too think they're uh, they're going to be a little tired. And New York's it's just nice to see New York playing competitive basketball again for crying out loud. Miami, yeah, they got some good things happening, uh, but they are not producing against the spread. So that's a tough call. I'm staying back, but staying I'm interested in what totals Loshak has to say. Well, about I haven't, that. I, I didn't, I haven't even uh, looked at it or crunched the numbers yet. But probably okay. like an hour before tip off, I will. Okay. Then we also got OKC five straight Ooh. ATS losses. Durant still out there on the road at Utah. You know, I'm a little bit high on Utah mm -hmm. this year. I told you in their last home game against Toronto, I took the money line. Mm -hmm. They wound up uh, losing ATS just by a half point, Saw but they that. won the game. Yep. Uh, here, it's, you know, OKC's getting four. Yeah. You know, I kind of like Utah. I think I might do the same thing. I might take Utah on the money line. Uh, what do you think? Are you a buyer in uh, in o with OKC with Westbrook but no Durant? No. You know what? I'm what I like, and I'm staying off of this game. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact because you said it in several videos that Utah reminds you of a young Spurs and so forth. They are young Derek Memphis, Favors, yeah. Hayward. Maybe yeah. it wasn't the Spurs, but who was it again? Memphis. 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 That's what it is. Yeah. I like this team. They're rested yeah. one day. OKC isn't rested. They had a big game yesterday, and they ran the whole time. So I think you might be right if I absolutely had to have a lean I would go ahead uh, with Utah take, I really right. would I like what's happening and, four. you know it always takes its toll on Westbrook when Durant is out and, sure. and he puts it on his shoulders rightfully so but staying off of this one Pete all right well you've already given us Cleveland first half minus five what's the second game you want to discuss okay. this, Mike I, I know like you got a second play. yes I do uh, the San Antonio Spurs uh -oh. all right a couple nights ago they lost on the road to New Orleans that didn't mm -hmm. sit well with anybody in that organization next outing Memphis they lock down on defense and do what they do best slow down the court, slow down the pace, and lock down on defense, and they held Memphis down. So tonight, you got the Suns coming in. Eric Bledsoe has been on fire, but he's hurting. He has a knee issue, and of course, you got Brandon Knight. This kid has been a great acquisition for them, but I don't believe him alone can take that team to the pace it he needs alone. to go. He, he alone. He alone. Right. All right, I don't believe he can do it. I don't <laughs> think it's going to happen, and I think tonight, the Spurs, the value, I got the first half mm. at minus four and a half. All right, right now yeah. I'm seeing nine or nine and a half market-wide. Yep. 
and uh, but you prefer the first half, huh? I like the first half, and even if it pushes to five, I would still take it. I think they're going to establish the rhythm early, and I think that rhythm's going to allow them a five to six point first half uh, lead at least. All right. Awesome yeah. analysis, Mike Brenner, on this Thank Monday you, before Thanksgiving. We'll see how this turns out, and of course, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much, Mike. Have a great day, Pete.